Welcome back, it's Francis Mack, and today we are doing the famous YouTube trend, what I got for Christmas 2022 edition. And like all the YouTubers that have done this trend, I am going to also follow the trend of saying this is not me bragging. This is me just being in love with watching some of my favorite OG creators and some creators that I, you know, have found previously, like recently, and they are OGs as well, and they always do a what I got for Christmas. And, you know, it's just fun to share, like, in the joy of seeing someone's excitement and getting to learn what they got. And it's just, it's just fun. It's just fun. So I'm going to be doing that video for you today. If you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. That would be an amazing extra Christmas gift for me from you. And don't forget to also ring that notification bell to be reminded every time I upload a new video because we don't have regular upload days on this channel. Without too much, you know, ramble, I mean, I'm going to try. I feel like I'm already doing that right now. Here's the skinny on what's going to be happening. Skinny? What am I, old? I'm definitely old. Here's the low down, the throw down, the dual tide. <sighs> Focus. Here's the situation. This is going to be a lightning round kind of what I got for Christmas. Some of these were stocking stuffers. Some of these you're not going to see. So first off, the honorable mention of this video is I got a nutcracker from my parents and unfortunately I left it at their place so you will not be seeing the nutcracker in this video. However, you'll be seeing everything else I got for Christmas. Starting with, apart from, you know, Cassie's gift that she's already, you know, shown all of us or not shown all of us is that I've shown you guys that she gave me a couple of hot chocolate bombs, she gave me cookies, she gave me a great ornament. Yeah. so. I think the first thing that we should do is because this is the fucking heaviest and I'm not gonna want to do it later is from the fuck ugh, from the thumbnail is that I got two Dutch ovens this is actually a joint gift for me and Ryan yeah so I got two Dutch ovens of various size I chose there was two colors um when my mom asked you know she wanted to know red or blue and I chose red oof and I'm already rambling, so let's just... The only other joint gift Ryan and I got was this painting portrait. It's a portrait with a hidden animal figurines inside. It is by the artist Blake Richardson from his Earth Collection, and he is a Canadian artist. And this is so freaking cool. There's so many animals hidden throughout the portrait. Painting, landscape, photo. This is really cool. The Ziploc in durables. This is a large pouch. I hope you can see. Maybe I should bring you guys closer, actually. But, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll get the big ones done first and then bring you guys closer. Okay, so this is the Doorway Trainer Plus. Yeah. So you can do it for all sorts of exercises and I'm really excited about this. So yeah. And I asked for that for Christmas. Got a couple of belts. So I got this one in black. I have one in brown. It's already upstairs on a pair of pants. Got this Dr. Seuss Grinch drawing mat for dishes. So our dishes that need to be done can look festive. Got a toque, a nice Aaron toque. It is a merino wool, made in Ireland. So nice. Got a the SD card, 128 gigabytes on it, because what I'm doing right now, I need a lot of memory cards. Uh, I got a, you know, this is in no particular order, clearly, but I got these gorgeous pair of pearl earrings. <laughs> got this salt and paper paper salt and pepper paper nomadic shakers from Kirkland they are so cute got a couple of Christmas movies 
This one was a uh, joke from Ryan. It is a VeggieTales St. Nicholas. It's a joke one. A Merry Friggin Christmas with the wonderful and incredible Robin Williams. Never seen it, so that's exciting. And then uh, a trio of Hallmark Christmas movies. I have seen only one of these. Cool. Ornaments. Which is little snowman ornaments. For the tree. This is a beautiful copy of a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And it is illustrated by Arthur Rackham. And I am very happy I got this. So, yeah. I'm very happy I got everything. But that is sentimental. So, it's got a beautiful inscription for my brother in it. So that's why it's sentimental. And I'm rambling. I got a complete murder mystery aboard the RMS Titania. This has got quite a. I got a, also got another murder mystery game from uh, my Kingston uh, white elephant. This was a different white elephant gift. I so I got two murder mystery things, which is super fun. I'm so happy for that. Gonna leave the other one over there because it looks just like this, except with different plots. I got a set of these three metal reindeers. They are so adorable. And I got the bigger one. And I got the biggest one. <laughs> hair ties! Got some hair ties. Got this nice fancy hair tie. And I got these little hair ties. <laughs> Very little hair here, but uh, I am not barely little. <laughs> Not to bury the lead, because I'm not, because it's obvious. Thank you, Thomas. Your assistance is quite helpful. I am Canadian, so uh, I got edibles <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> Was it Santa? Was it somebody else? Don't know. But Santa is Canadian. I have a record that proves Santa is Canadian from, I think, the 1970s. So I'll go watch my uh what i bought myself for a christmas vinyl video it's super good i have a static guard because clothing i got a mini dry shampoo can we focus can we focus can we focus oh god i'm doing the beauty guru there's nothing wrong being a beauty guru i wish i would only wish because i crap at that I got a Vera Bradley little pill container box with lovely flamingos on it. A thing of Nivea cream for chapped hands. Got myself a garlic press. I hope this one works because I've yet to find a good garlic press. My other ones uh, break on me. So Ryan broke one, I broke one. This is the third. Hopefully third one's the charm. I got socks. And they have this cute little uh, phrase on them. It says, chocolate fixes everything. I got a crop ton of chocolate in multiple stockings and in multiple family events. I am not going to show you all the chocolate I have. You'll just need to imagine, imagination of the chocolate that was received. <laughs> I got a, a Grinch tea towel or hand towel. But maybe Christmas perhaps needs a little bit more. I love the Grinch. So very happy for that. I got a loofah. Ba loofah. Fun reindeer earrings. Got a <laughs> got a another uh, hand towel which is Grinch themed, which is very naughty. I'm sorry, definitely naughty. My bad. But there we go. I got a really nice thick yoga mat, and I'm so happy, so happy. I also have like a fold-up travel one that I use, or I, I, I don't use, but I, I need to use. But yeah, so I got one for home, one for going places. I got this very sweet bowl. 
It's a little Christmas ball. I'm not gonna lie, I cried when I got this. Don't know why. I was very emotional opening that. It's very emotional about many of the things. Alright, <laughs> including I don't think my express like, excitement really helps with this one, but this is a Grinch little serving plate. <laughs> Which is actually I didn't read the back. It is a dishwasher and microwave safe. So cool. This was in Ryan's stocking, but he gave it to me to hold on to. But uh, we have a Grinch, this gorgeous Grinch ornament. I hope it's focusing on him. Okay, there we go. We got this sweet tree trunk looking cake plate with faceless gnomes. Actually, that's another thing I see. So I'll show you that too. But um. It matches my salt and pepper shaker, if you did not know, which now you know. But um, just so everybody else knows, well, I did get this for Christmas, and this is technically a Christmas themed thing. This bad boy is staying out all year round. I am not putting the cutest little gnome. Uh, she's a little unhinged, isn't she? I'm not putting that away. I'm not. I'm not. They're so fucking cute. I'm so happy. And I also got this faceless gnome pillow, and it's funny because all the faceless gnome stuff is from Ryan's parents, and uh, they they know my love for faceless gnomes, and it's, well, I think Loretta knew, but Brooke didn't know my love for faceless gnomes, and he just kept on saying, why are these faceless gnomes everywhere? And I'm like, good, they need to be everywhere. Is that so cute? Oh, and you know what? Even though, again, like with the cake plate, you may just stay out here for um a while. Yes, no, maybe so. We don't know yet. This may be out longer than Christmas stuff is. This is the last one, which is full of things. It's got a nice little uh, car or drawer or whatever freshener. So basically, in a closed, in a closed space, freshener of air. And then I got this. Oh, this guy! I got a bunch of fun decorations. I first got this handsome man, this gorgeous Santa with. And he has a little bear. I hope you can see. I'm not having it on myself at all. We have that guy. I still have yet to talk about my uh, love for... No. It's a separate video! I feel bad. It's a separate video. Separate video. Separate video. Okay. Alright. So I got this guy. And I love trees. So I got... This tree, which I think kind of matches one of my other trees I have. So I have this tree. I have this tree. And I think all of these trees, except for one, are staying out year-round. Because they're so adorable. Got this nice, gorgeous marble tree. I've got this one. So really, if ever, I i mean, it's gorgeous decor, or if a vampire invades and I need to just... Multi-purposeful decorations, am I right? Who doesn't love that? <laughs> and last but not least, got this gorgeous looking tree, and it's actually a candle. And it smells divine. It says it's grapefruit ginger which is a little bit um, suspicious because why is grapefruit ginger in a Christmas tree? But I don't care because it's glorious. So glorious. Yeah. So that's that. And that is everything I've got for Christmas this year. Let me know in the comments below. Was there anything that you were, you know, 
excited by, you were unexpectedly saw, something that you didn't think that I would have asked for, if you feel like you know me well enough to know, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and please, please, please give me the best belated Christmas gift ever and subscribe to my channel and also ring that notification bell to be reminded, as I said, when I next post my latest video. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful time wherever you are when you see this video. And I will see you in the next one. As always, thanks for playing.